All right. William O'Donnell, U.S. government bond strategist at RBS Securities, after a record $42 billion bond sale of five-year debt, drew the strong demand over two years. This is Taking Stock. I'm Pim Fox. With rates already near record lows, why buy debt now? Henley Smith is the chief investment officer at Commonwealth Asset Management. Henley, welcome to the program. Thank Thanks you so for much me, for, for joining us. Talk a little bit about the fixed income muni market right now, because one of the notes that you're making is that municipalities seem to be extending maturities. Is that to try to fight off uh, some kind of very bad problem? Well, that I think a facing? lot of right. I think a lot of uh, municipalities are under pressure, budgetary pressure right now, and looking at the short-term fixed income rates at zero. I think they're probably extending maturities to see if they can capture some yield right now. So, but that's something I would be concerned about and be careful with because, you know, as extending maturities, it can, it can present a valuation problem down the road. Well, I was going to say that increases your risk, right? Absolutely. I mean, because if you're buying, let's say, longer dated whatever, but in this case, municipal, municipal bonds. Correct. That means any change in interest rate, unless you're really willing to hold it till maturity, that could really hurt your principal. Yeah, I think you have to be concerned about the liquidity and obviously the valuations because if interest rates do rise, and I don't think anyone's really looking around the rise anytime soon, but if they do rise, I think uh, valuations could present a problem. So I think if you do take that risk at this point, I think you should understand what that risk is. Talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing at, at Commonwealth because one of the things is you try to strike a balance, right, between cash needs on the one hand and short-term maturities on the other. And yeah, what we're doing at Commonwealth is really providing a flexible investment program for clients right now. Really uh, an insurance policy, if we will, to have liquidity. Keep cash liquid at this point. Make sure that six months, nine months down the road, they have the liquidity and the valuations in place to be able to take advantage of some, some market opportunities. Do you think those market opportunities are going to come in terms of, let's say, higher rates for municip municipal debt as well as uh, government debt? Well, uh, it's probably bucking the trend a little bit because uh, obviously the Fed thinks we're going to have low interest rates for some time now. But well, they only control the short <laughs> end of the curve last that's, time I That's looked. true. Uh, but I would say that uh, my guess is that there will probably be some higher rates down the road. Talk a little bit, if you can, about liquidity right now. Are you seeing liquidity is good across all municipal debt? Uh, yes, it's very good. But again, I think right now we want to keep cash liquid, keep it flexible. I think there is good liquidity. I think people are sitting on some cash and it's printing a hole in their pocket. So they're looking to do something new with it. But I'd be careful about that in terms of you know extending into this market at this point in time. Uh, one of the things that we've noted in past programs is that many retail investors have put a lot of money into bond funds. Have yes. you seen that as well? Uh, very much. And one of the things I would say is, you know, obviously read the prospectus on those funds. And one of the things you can do as an investor, especially on the retail side, is look at your expense ratios on bond funds because sometimes they're very high. And if you can look at a bond fund that's got a low expense ratio, that's going to give you obviously better yield and a better return. A lot of private financial companies, non-bank financial companies, have gone into the agency debt market, have gone into the uh, uh, agency-backed market. Are you seeing that as an increase in demand? Are people reaching for yield by doing that? Yeah, they are. And I think one of the things that we've looked at over the years is callable agencies. You know, obviously there's a call option on those, but that does give you a little bit of extra yield. But obviously there is a risk there, and it's a liquidity risk. But yes, it's the same type of thing. Investors are moving out on the curve. There's a sweet spot in the curve is about five years now. And I would think... Do you think, think that's too far? Uh, it, again, it depends on what acceptable risk is. It's an individual decision, and... If you can take, I, I, I've always said for my clients, understand what the nature of that cash is. If it's something that's going to be put to work in six months, you know, maybe you want to hold on to that cash and that flexibility. If it's something that can go out two to three years, it's probably not a bad time to do it. Have you found that with clients, for example, they don't necessarily match the actual maturities with the need for the cash? They kind of s separate the two? Yeah, they do that, and then sometimes that can get you in trouble. Uh, obviously, that happened in 1994 where you had a lot of people extending into we had low rates at that point, and they extended, and obviously rates went up, had a valuation problem, and again, uh, something I would be very concerned about. You talk about Commonwealth Asset Management as really a way station. What is it a way station from and to, do you think? Well, as I said, I think people are uh, building cash, they're rebalancing or re liquefying their balance sheet, and it, Commonwealth really is a way station, a flexible liquid way station uh, to have portfolios intact, principally protected, 
And uh, once they do see an opportunity, be it in stocks, commodities, real estate, whatever it might be, they want to make sure that that money's there to take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, last question for you, Henley. This has to do with the money market funds. We know the problems that we saw the last quarter of 2008. How has that issue been solved? Do people recognize money market funds still? They're, they're not bank accounts. No, they're not. And again, that's what I've said before and the fight that I've, I've, I've tried to maintain here in the last couple of years is read the prospectus, understand what you're getting involved in. There's a reason why money market rates for some might be higher. There's a risk there. Even though it might be a perceived risk, it is a risk. So understand your prospectus, understand the securities that are involved in that money market fund, and look for low expense ratios. All right. I want to thank you very much. Henley Smith coming in from Commonwealth Asset Management, the Chief Investment Officer. Thank you very much My for pleasure. your insight into the world of money. Straight ahead, the case for being a bull when everyone...